Hello, hello. My name is Luna 896 and today I'm streaming some LSPDFR in Blaine County. Let's go ahead and get into this. So please stand by. Please do stand by. We are almost ready for the stream. It has been a long time since I have streamed. And uh, I guess it feels good to be back. I hope it feels good to be back. I'm not sure this. Uh, I have no uh, promises, expectations, etc. for this stream. Other than to try to be ready for streaming. Almost ready here. Do 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 do. Boring ass stream. It's a boring ass stream. You never know when it's gonna stream again. Yeah, let's just go. Oh, stop then. All right. Almost ready, boys and girls, and all the others. Let's go ahead. Get that going. Get some game audio flowing. It'll be rainy for a little bit out here in Blaine County. Make sure I got everything set up before we switch into the game. And here we go. Hopefully that works. It does. Today we are with Bling County Sheriff's Department, like I had said, in a nice 2020 F... Uh, 20, sorry, not 2020, 2016 FBIU, a.k.a. the Ford Explorer Police Interceptor LX, LS, whatever the heck you want to call it. This from the Bling County Sheriff's Department pack. Um, it's actually a really lovely pack and model. Um, there are two attachments for the uh, push bumper up here, so you can have your guards on the bottom and around the lights. I've just decided not to go with those today. And the uh, cameras on top, the AL uh, automatic license plate reader, ALPR cameras are removable. I've decided to leave them on. If we go ahead into doors, let's so I don't hit anything. You can see it's got a nice interior, uh, some equipment in the back, and a detailed dish engine in the front. Got some 3Dness to it, which is always appreciated. Um, obviously, if it is ELS, if we go inside, I believe both of the, uh, yeah, both of the needles actually work, which is hit or miss on some model, but it is nice. We are patrolling with a female partner. Uh, just so we don't have to call for backup if we do get any stops with females. Um, we are going to be patrolling the whole area of Blaine County, so... So this area here, maybe a little bit down to here, but basically nothing down here. I'm going to ignore any calls that bring us that way. Only we will go there is in a pursuit. Um... In future, we may do some Port Patrol or International Airport or LSPD here or Los Santos County Sheriff's, which would be this plus the city. And then we have Blaine County up here. State Sheriff could be any of the highway systems if you ever do any SAHP. And then we also have the Game Wardens, Wildlife, etc., which would cover this area here ish. Not really crazy. I kind of, uh, if I'm feeling wildlife-ish, I roll it in with Lane County Sheriff Wildlife Department till stuff, which is why I like the FPIU from this pack. There is a Tahoe, don't get me wrong, it is lovely, but it is not the fastest, and it, but it is good for off-road. And then there's a Charger, which is really nice and fast, but realistically, you're not going to take that thing really, really off-road into some of the more mountainous parts. That's why most uh, departments will stick with, like, FBIU sort truck pickup trucks for game wardens etc but i mean there, there's always other stuff too but you normally want something that'll be a little bit more off-roady which is why i like the fbi ubs it's uh 
in this pack because it's just Tahoe, FBIU, and Chargers. You get your nice off-roady SUV-ish of the Tahoe, but you also get a little bit of a speediness of a Charger. And it's a nice in-between, and I'm not stuck doing 90 miles an hour in pursuits. And I guess we're going to go ahead and take our first call out here. Yeah, like I said, we are running ELS. The, this pack is kind of interesting, so we got our Stage 1 lighting here. It's just your little lighting lights there. Stage 2, we bump it up. You get the extra bar in the back. You get some red and blues in the front and the back. And then if we hit Stage 3, we're going to have everything going. And the really interesting thing in Stage 3 here is... If I could figure out where I want this. If I hit my air horn... Everything just... Except the, the lights on the plate... Uh, go a steady burn, which is really interesting. Now, the key nine among you, or the ones that really know their lighting stuff, especially for California, know that this car technically can't pull anyone over. Because they still are actually pretty semi-stringent about their at least one red steady burn, which I do have a bunch of other packs that have it, it's just not the Blaine County packs. Uh, my LSPD pack has it, which is lovely. I'm not liking some of these reflections from the rain, so we may... We, it may just be cloudy today and not rainy. Do not want any texturing issues. I have done a lot of work putting together LSPDFR, removing any plugins or mo and or mods giving me issues and or modifying modifications to the game, and also messing with some settings and priority for the EXE to try to get the most stable playable game out of this that that's not saying that we don't have texture loss we don't have game memory errors from time to time and we certainly never ever have lspdfr crash because that would be woof that'd be bad what was this call out i talked my way through so this was a suspicious person in a private area uh i guess we're i guess i have to I, I last logged in, and I forgot to change it, apparently. We are International Airport, at least. Uh, as far as the game's concerned, so uh, I guess we'll have to go back to the station and tidy that up here. Which I will do after we deal with this call-out. Go ahead and pull off to the side, take our seatbelt out, hop out, and talk. See if our partner still has their hat, because that is a slight issue. this one and sometimes you gotta do one of those obviously we wouldn't even take that call because it's yeah that doesn't make any sense so what i am gonna do here real quick is kill my lights we are gonna go ahead and kill the desktop audio here we're gonna well i ask everyone to stand by real quick while i take care of the uh nagging little issue that is uh, us being assigned to the wrong department, guys. That's uh, never really good. As a keen item on you may have realized, I'm probably just going to be magically okay. I, this is why I don't come back here. I don't know if it's going to eat our partner, which will delay the please standing by a little bit longer, which would suck, but uh, I just want to get this apartment changed over, which I could have easily done when I signed on, but I am not big brain. We still have our partner. We do. We do. It's good. That is very scary to thing to see. I will say, I, I love Stop Bed, I love Beihuyu, Behu, I have no idea how to say it, but his mods are. Um, I know some people select the elbow mods, uh, elbow, or the, well, upgraded versions of them because the original ones obviously do not work. Um, 
I always, I, don't get me wrong, I love them. They For many years, I, I started off on LC PDFR, so for many and many a moons, I used his mods, and they were great. Uh, we can go ahead and switch back into the game now. Right back to where we were, but as far as the... Uh, t totally meant to do that. Um, as far as the game's concerned, we're... Uh, if we look here, that, that's actually not the name I used. Um, we are now on duty. Uh, funny thing, my uh, officer's name changes because of how I do my partners here. Um, you may have noticed that is a really, really specific looking character for um, a random partner. Uh, I use the menu mod with some uh, wardrobe changing stuff. And that is how I get that lovely, nice partner. Uh, or if I really want mainly to have the custom outfits perfect. Uh, yeah, fun times. Uh, beyond that, realistically, though, uh, not much else going on. Uh, as I was saying, Elbow's mods, though, great. Um, they always were a little bit script-heavy and had a lot of things running around the background and kind of bogged down my game. How did we miss... Man, this guy came out of nowhere. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it, it, it's each their own. I love that there is a lot more of an encompassing suite, and ooh, I, I thought that guy was going to get his shit rocked. Uh, what, looks like we have, we could call in a helicopter for uh, assistance, but I don't think this guy's really going to get away on us. Uh, obviously, we can't pit this because we're not in, like, a police semi-truck. <laughs> and I really think a roadblock would be the dumbest thing we could do. Now, with that being said, that leaves us with two options to follow this guy until eventually he kills somebody or himself or the vehicle. Or call in a spike strip. And I really want to call in a spike strip, but at the same time, I have no clue how to drive. And also... Yeah. He's just gonna get himself stuck here, so... Oh, it's a she. Huh? We don't discriminate here. Everyone goes to jail equally. Better stop. All right, let's go ahead and get them in some cuffs here. They, um... Bam. Uh... Oh, that one. There we go, that is way better. There we go. Uh, more uniform. Man, did, did you even think about the fact that you were driving a giant fucking truck and it wasn't going to fit under the bridge? Probably not. Well, as they did get into a crash, we are going to have to make sure that they do not need medical attention. I would hope not. I would think not, etc. Let's make sure she went... Let's make sure she won't have anything that will poke or stick me, and let's make sure she's not going to have anything illegal in the vehicle. Alright. Now, one mod I really do miss, and I really wish I could have back, but if... Okay, a red... Cardi... Cardi, Brandy, bag containing three baggies and marijuana. I... Marijuana's legal. Um... And an airsoft pistol, but nothing really going on there. Um, I was going to say something. I have no clue where I was going to go, but um, let's go ahead and get her in the back of the car there. Uh, we do seem to be all wet. This would probably be a good time to go ahead and put on our uh, raincoat, but uh, screw raincoats. We're in the desert. It's hot. 
Uh, this is pretty refreshing. Get out. Uh, oh yeah, the body cam. Uh, I used to use Immersed Dispatch, but sadly it um, was kept kept throwing errors here and there and crashing LSPDFR. Oh boy, we got an open bottle of wine, a homing launcher, stolen license plates, and an unloaded rifle with a scratch serial number. Oh boy. So let's go ahead and pull out our police issue tablet to look up this lady. Her license is suspended. So let's start from the bottom of all the problems with this. She is driving suspended. She, uh, reckless endangerment. Uh, not, not this one. Uh, she did do a hit and run. We do have, uh, property for possession of a stolen automobile. Uh, possession of a... I just said it was a homing launcher. It didn't say that the ammo was there. So I have uh, no clue what to categorize that under. And then uh, I think it, it's under DUI for the open alcohol container. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. So we're going to get her charged. So we got a lot of shit that she just got charged with. Uh, a felony, misdemeanor, felony, felony, misdemeanor, felony, and a misdemeanor. Uh, as you can see, I have been playing this a little bit. I think if I do this, it'll bring me to the bottom on my first arrest. Okay. I feel like I've been doing this longer. And as you can see, I'll just go through some of these. Now, if you're wondering why there's two uh, citations and other stuff have to be done... Separately, sadly. As you can see, I have my fair share of BS that I have dealt with here. We're going to go ahead and get a uh, tow truck out here for this. Hopefully this will fit on a flatbed, but I'm not really sure. And I'm, of course, going to have to do this twice for it to work. Now, we do have a bunch of other stuff we can go through. I don't always go through it. We can blah, blah, blah. You know, after I place you under arrest, I can read the Miranda rights and ask them to understand them. Uh, we can ask them why they ran from us. And apparently we're... Hell, that they did put count on lives in danger. And just ask him if it was really worth it. Um, my partner was smart and has been standing under the bridge. This tow truck driver is not very smart. Um, we don't. Uh, uh, we, we don't contract with the best places for our tow trucks, so we're we're just gonna leave them to figure that one out. Um, they're not. Uh, you know how it is, lowest bidder, blah blah blah, cheapy cheap 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 cheap. As for me, I have no clue how to drive either, which is why I love this lovely fixed vehicle button that the department installed. I have my vehicle. And we're gonna go ahead and take them in and oh my god, that's just the scariest thing to see. Uh, we're gonna leave him alone. I, I, I hear he's done some bad things, but he, he's trying to turn his life off. And we're just going to pass him off to another cop. I, I'm not a big fan of teleporting another place to bring him in back in the day. I thought that girl was weird. I thought that officer was wearing a beanie, and uh, no, that was just her, her hair. Uh, one one other cool thing. I don't I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, we won't have it on because I have disabled the spotlight plug-in for now because it's not really that dark out. Uh, Keen Eye Mind, you may have noticed that the time is ticking at real time. We do have real time set up, and as you can see, even my takedowns really don't do anything. Hey, these do not have scene lights. They just take off my seatbelt. That is a nice little sporty car. Um, once again, um, 
really help Los Cantos County Sheriff's Department. Uh, we'll have fun with that. Um, this vehicle, if you do, well, if I do that, you'll see it turns on, but it also reacts to the spotlight plug in it, as if I turn on the spotlight, that light will come on. And not just that, as I change the spotlight around to move its position, that light will actually, uh, on the spotlight in the car, will actually move in sync with that and be facing the way it should be. Which is, like, really awesome, and I... I haven't seen actually none of my other car packs do that. I, I I wish more car packs would do that. I wish more car packs had rotators too. <laughs> so those are a uh, dime a dozen. Uh, we are gonna ignore that. I have to disable. I still have to disable some callouts as uh, that one is just best way to describe it is you show up. They're dead, you grab some pieces of evidence and the call up and be told the detective will contact you at a later time and, and then the guy who's dead wakes up and walks away. That's pretty much it. I didn't like that guy's car. I've gotten too used to just not caring about how I drive and looking at my cars, but I did it again! Uh, pulling over. Uh, this vehicle does have two variants in the uh, skin. One custom made, one not. The well, I, I just this vehicle normally says supervisor on the bumper there. You know, the other side, I just removed it. I was gonna try to put in deputy, but eh, lazy. The Tahoe and uh, Charger do have the uh, deputy tag up in the front, like some sheriff departments do. Uh, uh, yeah. It's always fun. Uh, you know what's not fun? Are these these guys here at the prison are complete a-holes. And uh, I, I will show you what I mean. So we're going to pretend that we uh, need to go over here and... Jesus Christ, there's not even a hole in the little fence so I can get around the easy way. Okay. See, you see what I mean? They're assholes. They make me like, take the normal road. So, let's say we uh, want to take a prisoner in, we're going to show up. Okay, the gate will open. And we'll, uh, let's, I, I've had some call-outs come out to here. But I need to get inside. Like, there is a person with a gun inside the prison. I don't know how they got in, but, um... And some of you guys might be saying, well, you need to have your lights and sirens on to come in. That's how this game works. Yeah, the call-outs in there mean you're going to have a bad time. Because, um, well, yeah. Glitch my way in, I guess. And it's not, and it's not like a car thing. Also, I feel like this sign is very useless here. I, you can't figure out that you're in a prison area by that. This uh, this door just don't open. They do not care about us. So uh, when people get loose inside their prison with guns, we just don't help them. I feel like we want to be there faster, but whatever. We are going to take the shortcut way over there. So what I was trying to say, because it's just going to be faster to go this way. I know this map better than uh, some AI. We're totally on the road, you guys. See? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, that guy always harasses me every time I drive by, and it really annoys me. Well, it seems like the company has enough of those uh, semi mixtures that you probably could have just let the other person go, but hey, that's uh, not what we're paid to do. Uh, so they're going to be somewhere around here. 
walking around with a bomb in their hand, apparently. We want to try to find them before they kill someone or themselves. Okay, so they're down here, and somehow I drove past them. That's great. Uh, we are going to stop the vehicle, though. Don't want to get too close. I do seem to be missing my pepper spray and flares. So, uh, I can fix that real quickly. Never know when you're going to need that pepper spray. But this guy has a bomb, possibly, so I want to be able to... Well, we really don't have to that but Okay. I hate when you go in the first person and it goes from, like, I have my weapon at my side, and then I have, like, I'm ready to go. Put down, man! Ooh. Threw one at us. Oh boy. There was a bomb on the ground. Oh. Yeah, that's bomb. We might partner. No, partner. We, we, we don't want to stand next to the guy who has bombs on the ground, partner. You need to come over here. Oh, okay. Thankfully, I am a uh, get in the car, partner. Thankfully, I know how to dispose of these. And when my partner is distracted, I will take care of it. So that one, that one, make sure we hit it right. There we go. We have detonated the bomb. That one won't detonate because it's not real. And now we have five bombs. That's great. Now this person might be playing pretend, so we want to pretend dead, so we want to make sure that we got them uh, up and we will be calling an ambulance here, but as we are the modern police, we do need to render first aid to them immediately. See, this is exactly why I handcuffed them. Rat is Look at that. You made me pull out my gun. Now sadly that handcuffing thing don't really translate over to this. I would love if it did. So I shouldn't have to recuff them, but you know. It is interesting. Uh, they are planning to add into that plugin a chance for the person if you don't handcuff them to pop back up and kill you. So. Let's, um... Get this guy patted down and get him uh, charged and put him in an ambulance. A handgun and a pack of stick shots. Who would have imagined? Now we're going to go ahead and make sh uh, run his firearm here and see what the deal is with it. Oh, we can't, because it's scratched. So we're going to pull out our department issue tablet here. And uh, get this guy some charges. So, uh, Explosive devices. Uh, Alright, we have to have one with the uh, serial number that's tampered. And then... Uh, we'll top on two attempted murders of law enforcement officer because if that bomb would have went off, it would have killed most likely me and my partner. Now I have no clue what I'm doing with charging. Just going to jail. And we're going to go ahead and make sure we get an ambulance uh, because I 
I think this guy might be hurt. I would be hurt if I got shot four or five times in the chest by hollow point rounds. Now we are going to go ahead and make sure we get some more ammo off the back, because you know that's just how it works. But I, 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 I'm kidding. Yeah. If you want to take a divergent course off to the lovely land of real, real, realism, at this point there would be obviously a major uh, shutdown of the area, major investigation pulled in, uh, me and... Well, I'm the only one who f fired, so me and my partner would be... Uh, Pulled off to the side and separated. This is just the general. Some departments do things differently. This is the way it should be done in every department. Uh, separated from everyone else. Pulled off to the side. Now, because I fired my duty belt, my my whole duty belt, including everything on it and the weapon I use, would be... Uh, and sometimes even the vests uh, would all be taken in for evidence. Uh, they would... My union would advise me to wait at least two days before being... Uh, questioned. I would go in for questioning, then they would determine a uh, good shoot, bad shoot, if any charges need to be pressed against me. And then if I'm cleared in a while, I'll be back on the streets. Okay, we have to look up Andrew Parker's son. But, uh, yeah, that's, um, Apparently we called in a helicopter, so... Let's control, I put this missile. Okay, suspect's charged with disturbing the peace. We're gonna go ahead and head on over to his house. There's our Air 1. Hopefully uh, we don't have any Mayday Mayday calls today from Air 1, because Air 1 likes to... So, pretend that... And place explosives around the map and pretend like they've crashed and exploded. I don't know why they do that. It, it seems so counterproductive and a real waste of money and like a felony. But you know, they they do it, guys. I I, I swear, especially when you're over in Grapeseed, man. They they have those mountain blind with explosives. I am literally not kidding you guys. I am gonna try to get across here, nice and safe. Look both ways. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can take a hold of this subject. Looks like uh, that's our guy over there. So we're going to go ahead and park up over here. Out of his view, I mean, I'm sure he knows that we're coming for him. Because they always do. Let's go ahead and try to talk to him. And he's taking off. He's got a gun. So be careful in this pursuit. And let's, uh, take off on him. Better stop, buddy. Okay, he's not wanting to stop. Let's see if we can catch up on him here. Drop the gun! Don't you, tell, don't you reach for a boy. And he seems to be a little crunky boy. Okay, we um, have secured his weapon. No one is going to be able to pick that thing up. But that's not my siren, in case anyone's like, wondering. But that ambulance we called earlier apparently is somewhere here. Good siren, huh? Now, the worst part is uh, my partner's not very smart and will just stay over there now. <sighs> so we will have to wrangle her back in with the, uh, the magic that... Oh, boy. Let go. With the magic that is the T-Bone. Didn't mean to fast the seat belt. That just kind of happened. Let's go ahead and make sure 
It doesn't have anything that will help those stick me. And let's make sure that we can have them secure. <sighs> and then we're going to go ahead and question him here. About this alcohol that we have on him because, you know... have our buddy breathalyze them. And now we got public intoxication charges. Because why not? He's going to jail anyway. Go ahead and get him in the back of this cruiser bruiser. Before we both get taken out by a local. And let's get out of, out of the rain. Once our partner gets in here, we will go ahead and pop over the computer system. See that he's actually wanted for first degree murder, which I can't remember. It's actually a charging error, but I just have to use the general. First degree murder, I hate. We don't know anything about the um, weapon because uh, it was very well secured into the, uh, the ground there. And we're going to submit our charges and uh, that's just our, uh, our our buddy up there. They're not following us or anything. Look, it's our buddies from earlier. Well, actually, these guys are pretty far away from where they belong. Uh, but thankfully, we uh, we do have a cure for them driving around. They do come out here every once in a while just to harass us guys. It's, it's very sad, but thankfully we can tell them to fuck off. And that is our second arrestee for the night. Pass out to somebody else to be their frickin' prop. Now we've been pretty much sticking around here in the Sandy Shores area, so we're going to go ahead and use this lovely shortcut on the road and head up towards Grapeseed. Best part is there's no speed limits on these roads. It's definitely not 35 miles an hour. And I'm definitely not doing over 100 miles an hour because there'd be felony speed. Looks like it's right out over here, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit that up. I thought we were gonna go to Grape Seed, guys, um, but we're not. Yes, I know for some people, uh, they might be like, why? why is it still 1847? Well, that's what time it is for me, and that's how I like to play the game. I like the game's uh, schedule to match the uh, outside. Though, realistically, it doesn't because of the fact that, yeah, Sun Cycle ain't the same, but at least I have an in-game clock this way. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Siren because screw that. Uh, yeah, I think we're looking for a witness here. Take a statement from the caller. Where the f is the caller? Is it one of these gnomes? Is the caller inside of this building? Is it this guy who called? Because I don't see anyone. Okay, it's not this guy. Is the caller back here? We don't like that. Is a 
a quick way around here. Uh, I am not sure where the frick this collar is at. Uh, that green dot is just because uh, the game brings that route to store. I did it, guys. Um, I am confused. Is that in the call? No. Uh, we are going to ignore that call. I'm just using it to confirm the ending of the first call. I guess we can take the money. And the shop's empty. J Damn! Oh, I thought they I thought she busted out the other door too. That would have been a oh, little I was scared. We have a guy running in the room. Oh, I think this is just the shopkeep. Yeah, that's the sh Okay. Ignoring that BS. Let's go ahead and... Thankfully, we do have an FBIU. So, we do have a few options on how to get up there safely. Of course, the one area I try to come up. I know it does say to respawn code 3, but this victim is being held at gunpoint here. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. They're... Uh, they're not getting it. Oh, so you gotta stop. You got that pistol here. Let's go ahead and close the nearby roads here. Let's get some protection on our seat here. Which means we have to do one of these. Now we are gonna want to arrest this guy. Put him in cuffs. And then we do want to tap to the injured guy to see if he's okay. And if not, then we'll call an ambulance. And if not, we'll call a coroner. A cor coroner. Okay. Dude! See, this is the part that I don't like with stop the puppies. That don't make no freaking sense. Like I said, it doesn't communicate the whole. Alright. Well. I apparently seem to be having. I might be. Oh, I just thought about that. Why we're. We are actually going to unload restrain the deceased plugin for now. I think that might be why we're having everyone be alive again. Um, I'm just going to get this guy patted down, figure out who the heck he is, and... Uh, forgot whose bike this is, too. Uh, catch our... Other person's name here. Target vehicle license plate six one Edward Charles Robert three six two. A possible stolen vehicle. A 
approach with caution. Just gonna run a check here, make sure this guy ain't got nothing on him. And then we'll just dismiss him. Then we're gonna go ahead and take this guy, grab him, and move to the side of the road and get us an ambute. Ambulance to uh, take care of him. And then we'll charge him here in a second. Get our ammo back. Go ahead and get in the car here. Boom. This guy here, we got him with the uh, attempted robbery. Uh, you fire at us. about it. Probably missed something somehow. Smith them chargers. This just seems to be a bad place to be. You have crazy people in the streets and this guy here. We can go ahead and make sure we open these nearby roads. Yeah, it's totally out of Jack Sam with a uh Sleeping bag on it, guys, just in case you were concerned that that's, that's not at all what it is. And with that, we're out of here, boys and girls and boy girls and girl boys and yeah. It's a very dangerous animal. I want nothing to do with it. Well, we've been looking for a reason to go to Grapeseed, and uh, well, we uh, got our reason, guys. So we are um, going to go to Grapeseed now, and um, we're going to go ahead and um, arrest those people. If you were worried about that, then uh, don't be worried, guys. Never, ever blame Merge on that road, guys. That's how you get yourself killed. I'm gonna go ahead and see what this store robbery is all about. Stores do be getting robbed out here, guys. Uh, you got to be really careful uh, if you're patrol if you're out on these streets. Um, I feel really sorry if you guys uh, are watching me from Grapeseed. It's just not a good time. Uh, if you're watching me from Los Santos, well, then that's great. You have even more crime. So uh, I don't know if you're winning or what. Or Kill my seatbelt here, kill the siren. Is they robbing the clothing store here? I got. Oh my god. It's like we got back up here. We do have a civilian there. I got to be very careful about this. Oh, it's coming at me. Oh. 
been hit. I almost used all my ammo. Holy garbage. I hope my partner is okay. We have dead guy in here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just call an ambulance here instead of trying to. This is pretty traumatic for her. We're gonna try to remove her from the situation, sit her down. Over here. Let's go ahead and uh, just grab her name and have her sit down on the ground here. I'm going to go ahead and patch myself up just to see if they have any time here. Uh, now does that clean off my clothes? It, it does. Nice. We have my partner here. We're going to go ahead and try to shut down these roads here. This is a, a pretty major scene we got going on here. We got two guys laying on the ground. Plus one on the inside here. I'm going to try to tend to the... Uh, shop clerk first which is actually wrong in uh, most departments uh, like actually my local department if you come up on a scene like this and there's a dead guy here that was killed by the robbers and you got in a firefight with the robbers and you shot the robbers you're actually supposed to prioritize care for the uh people that you had shot yourself and not the other people um i'm not saying anyone's life is more valued than the other but that is the way it's supposed to go so I would figure it would be this guy first because he has been out the longest and if you want a chance of saving him you would want to get to him first. <laughs> uh, it looks like we did at least get this guy stopped. So we're gonna, he's gonna have a lot of charges on him now, especially if his buddy ain't alive, because everything's going to him. Now, if his buddy is alive, then uh, we gotta split them charges equally. We do still have her on the corner. We do wanna get her in a. I'm gonna go ahead and call her an ambulance. We're gonna go ahead and let them take the shopkeep up over there. I was unable to revive him, but it looks like uh, call another ambulance for her just to make sure have her evaluated at a hospital. We're gonna go ahead and have them. What? Where is my ambulance, girl? They obviously took care of this guy. But I don't see them. Well, it looks like whoever uh, did respond to help us is not here, and I'm just going to go ahead and clear this up for the game's sake so it's not screaming at me. I think it yeeted our lovely original ambulance crew through the world. Which is just great. I'm gonna proceed with patting down this guy and... They'll teleport back to us at some point, I believe. <sighs> but at least we got the uh, cashier out of here. We can uh, run some weapons, serial checks on them, so I can like picked up. Which is only the SMG because the MK2 Yeah, double that. I got a regular attempting order as well. Aggravated assault and aggravated battery towards the uh, clerk in there. 
It'll definitely hit stick on that one. Now, hopefully, our other ambulance crew is going to come back, guys, because I understand this store clerk uh, wasn't doing so well, but. Uh... Oh. That means they're inside of here. But I can't do much. Oh. And this is just an invisible person. Oh. Okay, normally the back ones are physical. Maybe if I can move her. Come on. I, you, I, I know I can. Uh, they, they have invincibility, so there's literally nothing I can do to her that will harm her. What I can do is force them to the area that they were in. See if moving them teleports back to the body, or if I, I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, we're kind of fucked up. Because I, I, I can't get. I can tr I'm gonna try moving their ambulance. I only have a thought here. So if I move their ambulance, guys, they might not glitch out as much. So trying to move it where I want it without damaging my vehicle, man. I don't care about the ambulance, in case you were wondering why I just tried to make this side. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I have single handedly destroyed the game. The other person in all theoreticalness is over here. Which in theory can I teleport through the door or will this just kill me? We're gonna find out guys. Cause I'm not sure what to do with this one. Okay. So this is where they are. I might be able to force them out so if I shift Okay, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. I think I can shift T this guy. Control T. Okay, so I, I, I am holding this guy, right? And some of you guys might be wondering what the heck's going on. Uh, and this is called me attempting to. Control T. There we go! Guys, I know what I'm doing with this game sometimes. Uh, LSPFR, by no, and GTA by no extension either, are perfect, so. I am going to take this out every time now that I know that that is too much. As they are going to go ahead and attempt to uh, well, help the other guy. So what I can do is bring this thing out. And then put it back under here. And this way it's out of the way. But at the same time, yeah. Now, this guy we've already charged. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and get him an ambulance. There's no real reason to have him standing around out here. And it looks like we're also going to be... Wow. Needing a team of people to inspect the body. 
But at the same thing, what drives me nuts here... ...is the fact that I have no clue what I was going to say. Bet you weren't expecting that. So this guy had a picture of Los Santos... Or I'm blueprints with codes on it, and they know in, in details of personal entry payments and departure funds with multiple hockey plate stick. Also, I, I could have swore I closed the roads. Why are there so many fucking people? We are using the Coroner Boxville and Coroner Speedo by whoever the heck made them. Uh, credit to them. I really am sorry. I don't remember who the hell they are. Um... It's a really old mod. If you've been playing LS PDFR for a while, you, you've seen it, you know it. I am using both of them. As, uh, why not? You know, it, it's fun to see some different stuff here. Uh, they can show up in black and or white. And that's pretty much it. There are some other better ones out there that have ELS, and uh, if you guys are actually wondering why I'm the only one with the custom vehicles, uh, minus the RDE vehicles, uh, and and with ELS is because, uh, well, when I let AI use ELS, I don't know what it is. This game likes to go poo-poo on itself, and... I mean, I have a Ryzen 9 5900. Not bad, not bad on the CPU. I suppose my GPU is technically underpowered, but is as it is only an RTX 2080 Ti, which those things are not really worth that much money. It's worth like a third of or less of what I paid for it back in the day. Though, for most modern games, it keeps up. Uh, and especially for GTA, which is not really a modern game. Yes, there are updates to it, and... Sure. We'll go for it. Let's see where it is first. And we're gonna go ahead and request a uh, heli before we lose the uh, pursuit there. Um... But yes, GTA did get a little bit more graphically demanding as it took updates. Um, I can speak to the truth of this because I used to run GTA 5 on a gaming laptop. I don't know if we're going to ever catch up to this guy, to be honest with you. Uh, with a 660M in it. And an i7 third generation... Oh, that port here. And... Yeah. At one point with LSPDFR, it, it really was... Uh, it wasn't the best, but it could run everything at high speed, at high settings. Hi. Jesus Christ, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, high settings, blah, 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 and it would run fine, stable, but as time went on, it... I had to start lowering stuff, but eventually it got to the point where playing, especially with LSPDFR, was im impossible. It was gimp possible, guys. I'm serious. Um, so eventually I upgraded and I got a i7, I think it was a uh, 770. And mind you, it was a third gen mobile processor, obviously, in the uh, laptop. Uh, i7-7700, which was alright, and uh, for i7-70, and this car was one of the, uh, the drink. Jesus Christ, these guys. Alright, well we got double the sus. Four. Oh boy. Uh, i770 with a 1070 uh, graphics card, which I swapped out the 1070 pretty early on with this RTX 2080 Ti, and eventually I did upgrade. 
my system completely swapping at the motherboard and that. Um, everything from this... Oh, God, one, one of them is running towards us. Stop. We need more people over here. We're, we're, uh, stop. There is no way I'm catching all of these guys. What the hell? Oh, well, we got one dropped. Another dropped. That totally was not a good shoot there. Um, that's just me being pissed off at this fucking call out. And we lost one guy. Dude, you need to stop. Yo, the hell he needs to go take over. That other Ah, fuck. Yeah, Heli, what the heck? Um, totally not the right thing to do to kill these people, but, um, I've, I've given up on this. I don't like this call out. I'm teleporting back to my car when this is over. I guess we're on our own, our own guys. Their one is no more. I'm not sure if this guy continued running up or what. I don't think we're going to fight. Just sad because I wanted to put a cap in his ass. I terminate this pursuit. That was stupid. The good news is we are going to make use of these five sticky bobs. Because fuck this. Fuck. This. Bullshit. Nobody likes that call out. Wow. Okay. We leave now, boys and girls. Cisco. <laughs> Partner. So. So we'll be waiting for a while. <laughs> uh, well, that's not how I expected any of this to go, and, uh, I know we try to stick to the realism with the, when playing LSPDFR, but that was stupid. Uh, excuse me. Let's, um... Continue on like that never happened. No, it's been a while since... I. It's definitely been a while since I streamed LSPDFR. Um, I did stream some uh, GTA 5 5M on the Red Rum server, which is... Uh, Overall, I'd say it's one of the best servers out there. I'm just not really into that stuff right now. And <sighs> it is very annoying to just kind of get... Just be doing your own thing and constantly be taken hostage. Um, that's the main way of criminality there. It's pretty much you have to have a hostage uh, to be useful. Overall, don't get me wrong. like the server still... Remember there, so plan to always be a member there. Uh, I have donated and contributed to that server. That is how much I am behind it. 
the way I put it is, um, I don't think I'm ever going to find anywhere perfect unless I run it, and I'm not running it, so. And nothing wrong with it, just, uh, perfect for me would be something that only I can do. That's, that's actually why I run my own Minecraft server. Oh, looks like they're doing a little convoy there. That's pretty cool. We got a lot of vehicles out today for the, uh, the little Company vehicles. Um, but yeah, I yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take us some uh, wildlife areas uh, after this PS. I um, hmm. yeah, I run my own Minecraft server. That's what be fun. Granted, I really have not been into Minecraft lately, nor nor had time to be. Just purely an administrator. Um. Oh well. Uh, beyond that, I the only other server I uh, I would love to run, uh, like I said, uh, GTA Five roleplay, sure, but uh, I don't have that. That requires a team of people. I'd love to get the other group of people for Five PD. I mean, what is Five PD? But this, but LSPDFR for multiplayer. Essentially, I I mean it's not the same, but. It looks pretty frickin' fun. And sadly, oh god, we're gonna flip. We're gonna flip, guys. Oh god, we're gonna flip. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna go in the river. <laughs> I, I, I told you guys I'm not gonna try the optional for this other day. I never understood why it's why there's a split path there. One thing I do miss from being on the server is this uh, area was turned into a redwood foresty area, which I could totes do, but meh, meh. That's one of the biggest things I've learned about playing on 5M is uh, you have to make some compromise with your graphic. You can turn your graphic settings all the way up, which is great. But like one of the servers I've played on. Um, so actually, if you go in the city, the game will just poop itself and be like, Hey, uh, there's too many animated objects, and you'd be like, Oh, cool, let me just go bump that number up, and then the game is like, Nah, brah, you can't change that number, that number's gotta stay where it stays, brah. And you're like, well, then how the hell do I play here? And they're like, well, brah, that's not our problem, nobody else has that problem, but you're not the only one with that problem, they just, you know, ain't gonna cater to the people having those issues. So what you got to do sometimes is just turn down your graphic settings and deal with the fact that it's just not going to be as pretty as it could be. But then again, too, this looks pretty good. And uh, a little secret, guys, just to help keep some stability since it's not much of a difference. It's uh, not looking at max settings, guys. So as you can see right here. Granted, we have the video memory, so the game still just runs out of memory. Which is amazing. Um... I'm saying no, it's game memory because I'm thinking like I have 64 gigs of 3200 mega four mega transfers DDR4 plus uh, a, an 11 gig graphics card. It, like, uh, how? Oh, you never know, guys. Anyway, let's see if we can rear up somebody. I don't like taxi drivers in this game. See if the fruit stands open up, guys. Oh, it's closed. I want to get some fruit. I've been streaming for a while, and uh, we've been out going for an hour and 16 or 17 now, and we haven't had any issues yet. I need to say that's pretty good. So the, uh, it's a pretty rainy day out. We'll go ahead and deal with that. Let's go. Yeah, I don't really know what to say, guys. I'm just, I've been wanting to stream for a few days now, especially with this. Uh, I, after I've been kind of working on getting a super hella stable, and well, now that it's super hella stable, I was expecting this guy to just. Oh, we got a hit run here, guys. Dude. You stole a money truck and you don't even have a gun? Bro. 
Bro, come back, bro. Bro, come back. Bro, I'm in front of you. Oh. I thought I was gonna juke him out, guys. Yeah, let's just set this. Comments on that comment of the comment of the comment of the comment of the comment, guys. So let's see what's going on with this dude. Then I'm sure this was just a big misunderstanding. You know, he's probably just the uh, the money truck driver, and you know they just thought he stole it. And when he saw us, he was just trying to you know make sure he thought his escort showed up to get him back to work. And uh, well, now he's not back to work. He's in handcuffs, and I'm sure. He ran away just because, you know, it was just part of the job when you see the police after you and you eventually figure out you're not going to be able to drive the truck away, you gotta just run, 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 run. I, I, I kid. Putting you in secure. I have to say, and a stun gun. I have no idea what AMT is. I know it's some kind of drug and a picture of a flint of paint branch. Probably where he got the truck from. Uh, shocking me. I'll just search this vehicle real quick. Make sure he didn't leave behind no um, incriminating evidence in here, like an unloaded machine pistol with a scratch serial number, a bloodied axe, or an unloaded MK to assault rifle. We're gonna go ahead and get that tow truck to come in, to come in, to come in. No, and obviously, we can't search up these. Oh, both of these have scratch serial numbers. Perfect. Makes it so much easier when I go up here and I charge it. So we got two serial number tampered weapons, uh, some kind of drugs, which I don't know what kind of are. So uh, he did a loot arrest on foot. Uh, obviously, we had possession of a deadly weapon for the axe. Car theft. This would be grand theft auto. robbery that, that this is a this is a federal crime here you don't fuck with the bank's money and uh well, apparently that uh you know this being a county-wide unit that's kind of the problem we don't know the normal ways apparently we should have been down on the beach for this what it is what it is <laughs> I have never seen the uh, truck with its bed down like that, but that's, uh, I guess that's how you transport those. Interesting. I think you can get a pretty good pan of you. Dong cap. Driver carries a firearm and will use it in defense. Must have nothing better to do up there. Now I did start up some more call. Oh boy, we are not going the right way down the road, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Just ignore that. So we can get our engine going, and then we'll uh, go on and get out of here. This is a cool thing. You can't really see the radios when you're in there, but uh, we do have dual, I guess they're probably APXs. Um, it's cool. I don't see many departments running duels, duelies for the radios, but especially with these new APXs that can cover every single band that would be having fre police frequencies on them. But you know, to, to each their own, we're gonna go ahead and park out this shit long. This could be kind of a hard one because it could, it technically could be stalking, but at the same time, he's, he's out on public property. Though well, that is another story that he seems to be drunk. Let's go ahead and, um... Yeah. Okay. Okay, I am, uh... So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, do some spidey chat. Oh shit, that is a gun. Alright, well. What? What the hell? No, 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 no. Terminate that pursuit. Terminate the pursuit. I have no clue how this pursuit has started. I am just going to let them get away because I don't know what the hell's going on. And I just shot somebody here, which is kind of more important. So we're going to just start tending to the injured head while we wait for this pursuit to end. That does happen every once in a while. Yes. Floating guy doesn't seem to be doing so good. I'll go speak with the hunt. Yeah, I don't think, uh... I, I really don't think that there's a option for... Yeah, I killed the guy. It's Gucci, man. I did not mean to blink them in the head. Jesus Christ. Bro, they were just probably going to spend a few hours in the drunk tank. Jeez. All this over what? I I'm not sure. Let's try me nuts. I can't pick up the weapon. Or whatever. I wish you could do is run them over to there. 
Oh, good. Yeah, that vehicle has a steady bird. Hard to use, but... We have a scratch serial number, uh, drug paraphernalia, bur burglary tools, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna see if we can get his consent for a breast sample. Uh, Live PD does not exist anymore, buddy. Uh, I think it's called On Patrol Live now. And we'll have our uh, partner here try and see if we can get any goodness out of this. If not, it'll be a failure to provide breast sample by this person if they can't be it. I've never actually followed it through that long, but uh, let's go ahead and get this guy charged up. So starting at the bottom, we got, oh, no, uh, serial number tampered weapon, drug paraphernalia, and firearms, uh, unlawful use of firearms. Oh, I did forget to get him there. It's being drunk in public. Yeah, yeah whatever. Right, we'll get him an ambulance. Now, the great news, guys, is it looks like the rain is clearing up here. Ah, I guess I should go clear first. They do have gloves. Okay, you don't see that for every day, guys. This is why Polito Bay drives me nuts. I spend too much time here, and then my textures start popping in. Now, I have not modified anything in Polito Bay, minus the station there with RDE, which is just nuts. And we're gonna believe. We're just gonna believe. Yeah. I thought Filippo Bay would be more stable, but this is apparently the last part of my game that is not super stable. So guys, I have decided that with that, um, this is a good time is all. The rain is cleared up. Um, nothing else is going on around here. Getting pretty late for a patrol, so... It looks like that is going to be the end of our patrol for today, guys. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of this. We're going to drive off into the sunset, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.